What's up, what's good, what's poppin', what's crackin', what's perkin', what's really good in the hood, it's your man Theo Butler. And, you know, there's been a lot going on in the news, a lot of people getting canceled. That's a new saying, cancel. Cancel people. Uh, the young lady from Mandalorian, Gina Carallo, formerly of UFC fame, she's actually been in one of the Fast and the Furious movies and everything like that. She just got canceled. think she got canceled she just got a new job um she's following her dreams um she stepped out from disney and she's now going to be able to produce and write and create her own um movies action movies things of that nature congratulations to her definitely want to see an artist um still be able to go and pursue pursue their dreams um joss whedon um we know he's still going to be able to make movies and things of that nature but this video isn't about well it is about canceling it's about a, a plethora of, of, of subjects surrounding canceling because first of all to be canceled you must put yourself in a position to do what be canceled <laughs> that's easy to do if you don't respect history if you don't respect history you find yourself you will find yourself saying some things that you are oblivious to or things that you should show some empathy towards and you can't, you don't because you're oblivious to history. Ironically enough, this is what got Nick Cannon in trouble with Viacom because even though knowing the history of what I believe Nick Cannon to be a well-knowledgeable brother and everything like that, but he missed the empathy. He missed the sympathy part of it. Had he, knowing the history of the Holocaust, the Jewish Holocaust, Germans, Nazi Germany, if you know the history of it, you're able to acknowledge certain emotions that should preclude you from saying something stupid. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, no, no human should want a fellow human to suffer. Like, not over something about a disagreement in regards to religion, a disagreement in regards to gender, a disagreement in regards to politics, a, a, di a disagreement in, in regards to sexual preference. Because it's like I, I was telling somebody the other day. He said, Theo, I just don't, I can't be cool with gay people. Why not? A gay man's life has no reflection on you as a man. You are your own individual. This is what I told the guy. I said, as a heterosexual male, if you're single, the gay dude is your best friend because his women friends are some of the finest female friends, some of the finest women out there, period. Gay dudes don't hang with ugly women. They don't. And they have the trust, the ear of the heterosexual female. And if you, as a heterosexual male, are cool with a gay dude, you ain't there. That's what I had explained to him. That's what I had to explain to him. I said, your lifestyle is not his lifestyle. His lifestyle is not your lifestyle. You're not living your life for him. He's damn sure not living his life for you. Why do you care about what he's doing on his own time? See, the person that I told this to would be prone to making a remark if he was an entertainer to get him canceled. <laughs> Yeah, he'd be prone to saying something stupid to get him canceled because he hasn't studied the history of homosexuality. And if you're not studying the history of homosexuality, you damn sure not trying to be empathetic or sympathetic towards it. This is why people get canceled. Someone who's a fellow YouTuber made a statement that she supports Black Lives Matter, but her beliefs in Donald Trump. I'm sorry, I got to draw the line. Stop. Press pause for a second. Don't ever ever say to somebody who's knowledgeable that somebody supports Donald Trump and both supports Black Lives Matter. Morally speaking, you can't do it. It is what it is. You can't. And hell, she's been in the entertainment industry far longer than I have. She's been in the public uh, domain far longer than I have. While it's okay to express your political beliefs, yeah, your political beliefs should be marinated, seasoned with some empathy and some sympathy. 
And if you find yourself at a moral crossroads because your empathy and your sympathy ain't lining up with your public beliefs, you might want to look at yourself and check yourself before you wreck yourself and say something stupid that causes you to get canceled. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Peace.